Hey, what's up, everyone? Ralph here. So I think we can all agree that when it comes to this economy, uh, it's frustrating. Uh, everyone's frustrated with the fact that, you know, things are more expensive, um, whether it's housing, food, energy, you name it, it's more expensive. And I think everyone is dealing with it in their own way. Now, one group in particular I want to talk about is the younger generation, Generation Z, who feels like they have it the hardest. Now, I'm a millennial, but but each generation has their own you know, issue with, with the way the economy is going. But for the Generation Z, they feel like they have it the hardest. So in this video, I'm going to share with you uh, this woman. She's going to break down um, her thoughts on it, right? And and she's going to break down why she feels like her generation is, is having a more difficult time with, with this economy. And I'm not sure what her generation is, but she's just going to break down um, what, what it is in her experience and, and and give you an idea of like why it's such a struggle and why, why, why her generation is having a hard time dealing with it. So I'm just going to let her talk and then I'll share my thoughts. Um, in between i just saw this video of a girl saying that she went to get a waitressing job on the weekends because her corporate nine to five is not covering her bills our generation went to high school went to college with the promise that if you go to school and you do your time you'll get out you'll get a great paying job and then one day you'll be able to have your own home have your own family and be financially stable right so I think we can all agree, man. That's <laughs> they lied, right? I mean, that's the lie. That's the that's the that's the thing that they sell you. Uh, you go to school, get a good job, then you can attain, you know, the American dream, having a home and building a family. And and obviously, that's that's just something that we all uh, see. That that's just that's just the lie that they they sold us. And 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 the quicker, like you really understand that. And the, the sooner you can do something about it, like it's easy, not not it's you can see now that like having a regular nine to five job isn't sufficient enough. To, to, to get the life that you want in terms of, you know, buying a home, having a family, raising a family. It's, it's not it's not enough unless you do one of like three things, right? You either have to like live very, very frugally, right? You live within your means, right? Depending on how much money you make, you got to live within your means, meaning you can't really do much. You can't buy the things that you want. You can't really go on vacation. Um, so you're going to have to live a very frugal life or you can do two. Now you can get a very high skilled position uh, that's going to earn you a very nice high, high income. Now you still have to live within your means, but you'll have more disposable income to do the things that you want. Go on vacation to buy things that you want. Or number three, you're going to have to start a business, right? You're going to do a side hustle. You're going to have to start finding ways to to create money, right? These are the things that you're going to have to do in order to to live that life that you want or, or just just to make it in this in this environment because these these are the only options that you have to do like in the sooner that you realize it the quicker you can you know figure out a plan to to do this but yeah when it comes when it comes to this this dream where they go to school get an education and and live that stable life obviously that is not the reality right now unless you do one of those three things we were essentially sold a scheme that is no longer working we're all out here in college loan debt with jobs that are not covering all of our bills so we're getting second jobs on the weekends, the weekends when we're supposed to be relaxing, unwinding from our corporate job, but nope, nope, time to go to your second job. Like it's infuriating because we're just not even enjoying life. We can't even enjoy life. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I think for a lot of people, if you, especially the younger generation, if you ask them, like if you polled them, like what is the most frustrating thing, right? Especially in this world of social media where um, you have access to people's lives from your phone, like you go, on, you go on Instagram anywhere on social media, you're looking at other people's lives, right? You're looking at this fake lifestyle where people are just going on, they're, they're on nice trips and they have these nice cars, they have all these nice things. And then you as a person looking at it, you're like, oh my God, I don't have these things. I should be enjoying this. I should be traveling. I should be having these clothes. I should be experiencing this life uh, and I can't do that why because I don't have the money or I work at my job 40 hours a week and I can't enjoy that life and you feel like you deserve that like I should be living that life and I think that's the most first frustrating thing for people is that they feel like they can't enjoy life, that they're spending all their time working that 40 hour life. So they, they, social media has created this false perception of what their life should be when in reality life, I mean look at life is work like if you want the things that you want then you have to work right. Now, if you don't have the money for it, then you have to, you know, what you have to do, you have to work more or you have to get one of these high skill positions that's going to earn you enough money. Right. But I think social media has people created this false perception of what their life should be. And it, and it creates this anxiety like I should be living this life like I deserve this life. When in reality, like most people just don't live that type of life. And I think, for, like she said, she mentioned, it's frustrating that they can't enjoy life. And I think social media and a lot of things just just create more of that anxiety, like I should be having this life. And and, and the fact that I'm not living that life of travel, of leisure, is, is not fair. So I think it creates more frustration for a lot of people, especially the younger generation. A lot of people are becoming entrepreneurs, not because they're even passionate about it, 
but because they know that they can get contract work and just work 24 seven so that they can provide. And now a lot of us are sitting in our apartment on a Saturday night because we don't have the disposable income to go out. It's a sad reality, but it's a real reality. And look at Matt. And, and, and you know what? Look at, I get it. I know for me, when I remember, you know, <laughs> coming out of college. Now, I didn't, working a night, the thought of working a nine to five job or working a corporate job for, you know, 40 years was something I couldn't see myself doing. Not because I didn't like work, it because it, work is work. I think, especially as a man, you should, you should, work is ne necessary. You should be working, right? That's, that's what we, you, you come here, you gotta work, right? Now, you gotta find way, different ways to work, you know, depending on what you wanna do, whether it's start your own business, work for somebody else, that's up to you. But as a man, I don't mind the work. I just, the thought of having to, work for somebody or work a corporate job for the rest of my life was just something that wasn't in me. I read Rich Dad Poor Dad and starting a business was something I always wanted to do. And for me, I knew that. I knew that, all right, Ralph, if you don't want to work for somebody or you don't want to work the corporate life, then what are you going to do about it? And for me, I said, all right, I'm going to have to find ways to make money outside of that, whether it's, you know, you know, making money online or starting some type of business. I understood that. And I, I knew that, like, if I wanted the life that I want, um, to create for myself, I know how to create that. I had to create that life for myself. I couldn't, I couldn't be out here just, you know, crying like, oh, it's not fair, this and that. I, I, I that's just something I just wouldn't want to do. I just knew it. Like, all right, I had to find a solution. And and this is the process that you go through through reading books, watching videos, and finding ways how you can make money outside of a of a of a job. Right. And that's the process. It takes time. It's a lot of sacrifice. It's a lot of commitment. Um, you know, you got to say no to a lot of things going out, going on trips, going out with friends. And it's a sacrifice. And I understand the reality that, you know, for a lot of people that you got to work multiple jobs now in order just to survive. And that, that is the reality in today's economy. And, and it's hard to do these things by yourself. And a lot of people, especially younger generation, they're trying to do this by themselves. And that's just no longer feasible. You can't do that anymore. You got to you got to team up. You got to be with family members. You got to have a spouse. You got to have somebody else to do it with you because affording a home by yourself is just is just that's gone that reality is gone or i let now you could do that but you're gonna have to live a very frugal life and you have to come to this reality that it is tough that people have multiple jobs one job is not enough in today's economy and it's not fair but this is the reality we're dealing with especially when you have you know people managing the money in our government the way they do and you know it, it you have to you for me i look at it this way right i focus on the things that i can control Right? I focus on the things that I control. I can't control what happens in uh, government. I can't focus on how I can't focus. I can't focus on things that I can't control. I can only focus on what I can control, and that's how I make money. How I go about, you know, trying to create income for myself. Right? These are the things that I control. Like Ralph, if you want, you know, these nice things, then guess what you're gonna have to do? You're gonna have to put in the work. Right? If you want to make sure that you're not living paycheck to paycheck, relying on government as you get older, you're going to have to put in the work and you have to create value for yourself. Right, And, and, that's, the, and that's the reality. And, and I think for especially the younger generation, I think some of them are, are realizing that um, and, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to do different things. And, and some are just, you know, they're just giving up and said, you know what, this is the reality. I'm not going to try. Uh, and obviously that's not a good good plan because you don't ever want to rely on somebody else or like you know the government for for your for your your well-being and your livelihood so i think it's a little frustrating and i think it's tough so but you know it's it, it, like she said it's reality and it's something you got to deal with right and it also you got to make sure you're managing your money properly right like for a lot of people they t people tend to be very bad with money they tend to want to spend uh, above their means and that's something even myself i was that person thirty thousand dollars of credit card debt twice in my life so i had to make sure i was managing my money properly i had to make sure i'm living within my means and if i and if i didn't like the life i was living i had to find a way to increase my means all right and that's and that's what you're supposed to do so so yeah those are my thoughts i'm interested to hear your thoughts uh make sure to leave a comment down below hit the like button and share uh and if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe all right so you guys take care have a good one later